in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I did and where I went in the process of making and launching my rocket. This is my amazing rocket. We went on an early Sunday morning. I began preparations. I finished preparations. And then we left at 6.30 in the morning. It was a very, very early morning. We had to drive past miles and miles of beautiful scenery for about an hour and a half. And when we got there, I gave a few basic instructions on how to use your rocket. I actually forgot to tell you to put rocket wadding in to protect the parachute, so, yeah. And then I proceeded to set up my drone. This is what I've been using to get the aerial shots in my rocket videos. And then I proceeded to try and use a lighter, which didn't work, and I left the camera running for like half an hour as me and my dad tried to light the rocket engine because the lighter wasn't working because of how cold and windy it was. And in the end, it actually didn't work at all. Not even close. So we set a plan and we decided to go at 6.40 in the morning on a Tuesday. Two days later, we drove and then we stopped for gas. And then we kept driving till we got there. We were there. We enjoyed the beautiful scenery of the Little Sahara sand dunes. And then I gave some more basic instructions, told you to actually put the rocket wadding in this time, which I did not do last time. And the cording. And then I proceeded. Hello everyone, welcome to the Little Sahara. Today we're going to be launching my rocket. This is a very long car ride, but hopefully it works. This is definitely our first attempt at trying to do this. But yeah, let's get right into it. Let's go. Man. We actually got smart this time and we brought flares. Flares burn underwater once they're lit, so we figured it could burn in the wind. And then it worked. All the way till it crashed into the ground. Oh, it ate it! An amazing aerial shot. It did make, in its process of crashing into the ground, it did make a pretty sweet crater in the sand. It looked pretty cool. Get one look at this one more look at this crater. It's a shattered bits of my nose cone. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All this stuff's completely burned out. Popped off. It smashed the ground. Awesome. Let's do it again. I then proceeded to attempt the second engine I had using the second flare. And guess what? It didn't work. I drilled the nozzle wrong, so the thrust of the rocket was not in line with the main part of the body, which means it was actually trying to push to the side, not forward, so it didn't work. Now I have something to tell you. This rocket video that I made, and all the others, was actually not the first video I made. 
I made a video of the rocket I'm showing you right now. This rocket was my original, very first one I ever made. And the camera I used actually deleted the footage, which was annoying, but it was, it was okay. And then it actually kind of turned out to a good thing because then I made this video for my 100 subscriber special. You should go watch that. Yeah. This place is so cool. It's awesome. We found someone else's little model rocket. Look at this thing. So little, so pathetic. Well, hopefully mine went higher than that because if it didn't, that would be sad. Thank you for watching to the end of this Cubby Creates video. I seriously hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun making my rocket and going out on all those adventures to launch it. Before any of you actually, if any of you want to make a rocket before you do it, search up local rocket clubs. They go into like all the laws and specifics of where you live and the restrictions on launching rockets. But anyway, thank you for watching my video. I'll have links to all my other rocket videos in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys seriously enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time on Cubby Creates.